Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Grizzly Digital Network as well. We're joined now by head men's soccer coach Steve Deku. As a coach, the Grizzlies come away with a 0-0 draw here in this ball game. Describe it to me for you in your own words. Tense. Yeah. Stressful. All because it, and it was basically when the, the card happened. Um, you can't fault Morty. I mean, they were two tactical fouls. The second one, I the ref, yeah, the game was getting a little out of hand. He was trying to get it back with cards. Um, you don't fault Cal, but boy, that put us in a hole. And so that's why uh, let's talk about the our very first game against St. Thomas. That felt like a loss because you're all over that team. You felt like we should have came away with something. But when you're playing with 10 guys for over 40-some minutes mm -hmm. um, against number 15 in the country, we showed our grit and uh, determination. And I'm proud of the kids. I mean, of course you want to win. Never going to say we don't want to win. I mean, we, like you said off air, we had chances, we had opportunities. We didn't put them away. If we'd have done that earlier, we we would have hung on to a one zero win, and that would have been you know gravy. But for what we overcame tonight, hey, hats off to the boys. So proud of them. Yeah, let's take a look at a lot of those opportunities that just missed for George Winnett and Brian, for that matter, too, as well. First half of through a ball, and Lewis Sharp comes away with eight saves on the day for the Grizzlies to really solidify the uh, shutout for the defense. Yeah, that's. I mean. One of the things that, that Brian has done very well this year is finishing, and I thought for some reason you know, they just weren't as good. I mean, it's we'll take the credit that we shut him down, but you know, on the flip side, we had opportunities, like the one you just showed there with Sammy. He's been tucking those away and training the whole time. So both goalkeepers did very well, uh, and, and the attackers just came up a touch short today. A couple of Grizzlies got their first start of the season, and Herb Seville and Eden Radvani talk about their efforts, and then there the last 43 minutes, you said it. We're down a man after the double yellow. A lot of subs coming out of the game. Complete team effort today for the Grizzlies. Oh, yeah. No, Eden did very well today. I mean, he had a monstrous performance. Um, Herb showed his quality in the midfield, and, uh, you know, to go to your point at the end with overtime and all of that, it was man management. I was trying to, you know, who's healthy, who's who's got fresh legs, get at them. And so you know, we were still trying to win. It wasn't like we were just sitting in and parking the bus. And uh, um, that means being defensive. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Um, and just trying to, uh, you know, just wait for the clock to hit zero. It was, we, we thought we could hit them on the counter attack. And with the pace we've got, we were able to do that a couple times. But, uh, you know, the poor boys, we were just defending for so long that, that they had nothing left in the tank and you know we did a good job of keeping things compact and forcing brian into just they were getting frustrated at the mistakes they were making and so the grizzlies uh don't park the bus here but uh, we get on the bus this weekend this saturday headed to pulaski tennessee to take on martin methodist what does the draw here mean at this juncture in the season and now transitioning on the road to go take on a really good martin methodist team um the draw at this point against number 15 with the adversity we faced a man down um, shows the boys that we're trending upward after after the uh, the Nebraska trip. Um, you know the second half of West Virginia Tech we played well today. You got a result against a ranked team that's going to send a message nationally that gives us the confidence. But now for Martin Methodist it's a little unfinished business because they they came in here and stole one from us last year we felt so it's our opportunity to go there and uh, do the same. We'll leave Friday, drive over to Huntsville, get a good night, get a good meal, good night sleep, drive up and. Uh, Hopefully come back with a W. Coach, best of wishes and safe travels on the road, okay? Thank you, buddy. That'll do it here from Lawrenceville. 0-0 is your final score between the Grizzlies and the Lions. This is the Grizzly Digital Network.